Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to this week's Technique of the Week. Uh, we're back with Technique of the Week. We uh, are down here in our Cincinnati store. We're just getting it ready. We're trying to get it set up here. And uh, so we're, we have some countertops to pour. So I thought, you know what? what would be a good idea to kind of make a cavity in it. And then we're gonna to try to pour epoxy. So today we're gonna to be showing you like a, a simple, easy way just to um, create that void. And it looks really cool. It looks really natural also. So stay tuned. In order to achieve this, uh, we use something that's real expensive, uh, sand. So it's not anything special, not any special sand, just regular construction sand or kind of whatever sand you have uh, laying around. A big part of, of being able to do this, what we found out helps a lot, is actually wet. If you wet the sand first, just like going to the beach, you know, you got, you wet your sand a little bit, it packs a little bit better, it, it stays in place better. So uh, we wet the sand down and then we use it um, and to create a void and then, and then kind of pack it down so it stays. Like I've used foam before to, to do this and stuff, but what this does with these little edges and things that it makes with the sand, it actually ends up looking a lot more natural. In order to kind of get the shape of how we want this to kind of wind through the countertop, uh, what I did was we actually put it on uh, the countertop, made a template of where it's gonna go, and then I kind of drew it on a piece of uh, regular cardboard. Next, all I'm going to do is take a handfuls of this uh, damp sand. I'm just going to start putting it on here. I want it to be, I want it to go to nothing on the edge and then kind of ramp up uh, on, on, in the middle. So you got to think of this when, when we're doing these things, you got to think of it being backwards. So this is the actual, this is the actual top and what we're doing, you know, what we're going to see on is, is actually the bottom of the countertop. So the face of it's going to be this our face coat stuff, we're not gonna be able to spray it because if we sprayed our face coat with the GFRC, it would blow the sand, obviously. So we're gonna be actually kind of pouring it on this first and brushing it like real gently and then go ahead and putting our back around. That way it kind of keeps that sand in place. Well, that's it for this week's Technique of the Week. Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, next time you're doing something like this, hopefully this gives you an easy way to create a void in the countertop. If you'd like to learn more about these things, we have classes for, for this stuff. Check our website. And uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching this and the support. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to ring the bell. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a good day.